Today I would like to remember Palmer Malcolm Smith Jr. He was my best friend, mentor, and grandfather. Known by Malcolm by all of Deland, Florida, he touched the hearts of many people, but especially mine. Like I said before, he was not only my grandfather, but my best friend. I lived with him my entire life, and he was there through it all. From when I can remember, he would walk me to school and sing songs with me every Tuesdays and Wednesdays on our walk there. I can remember my teachers driving him to school and always yelling at me, telling me that I should slow down when I walk with him because it seemed like I was always a mile ahead. But I would always go back. I loved it. He was a slow walker, and it just made him him. I would get teased by my friends when he would call me Toots, a nickname I never knew why he gave me, but I loved it. It seemed as if Malcolm knew everyone in the small town of Deland, or at least they all knew him. His sight wasn't the best, so he would always ask me who waved to him or who hollered at him, but I never knew. In my early years, I can remember him driving me to 7-Eleven to get a Slurpee every single day after school. Great for my teeth. My mom loved that. Not really, but I sure did. When I was really young, before he stopped driving, I would help him, or he let me think I was helping him, shift gears in our little neon that he named Smiley. He would also make, always make me check to see if, there are people, if people were coming before he turned anywhere. Come to find out, he actually couldn't see, so I was having to help him. When I would get home, he would always be in his recliner with a Diet Coke, or as he called it, a DC, and a crumb of something like popcorn on his lap. He was always watching TV Land or the Fishing Channel. Not my favorites, but I still sat with him. But my favorite was when we watched Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune together. Growing up, when we would ever have to write about something we, we love or someone we love, I would always write about my grandpa. He truly was my best friend. I knew I could always come for him, to him for advice, and I also knew that if my mom said no to something, my grandpa would always say yes. Another thing my mom didn't like too much. But hey, that's what grandpas are for. Malcolm loved to fish, and I can remember one time he took me to Walmart where I got my first Spongebob fishing pole. All excited, we go to go fishing, and the first little fish that catches on my pole breaks it right in half. We laughed for hours. My grandfather gave nicknames to everyone, so naturally I had a few. I was always called LT, which means little tyke, and I can remember he would joke that one day I would be called big tyke. But that never happened. I think I was always a little tight to him. He was a hard-working man. And as much as he loved sitting in his recliner drinking a Diet Coke, he was also involved with Rotary and Church that took up a lot of time. There isn't a day that goes by that I don't think of my grandpa. I miss him more than words can express, and I only hope to make him proud and be like him one day. I love you, Malcolm.